Okay, let's continue learning parsing in Curator. So we have in these logs two real uh, host, host name capital A and host name capital B with the now if we look at the host name A, let me actually pause here and see this particular log is for RFC like we, we explained this in the introduction video 3164 that's the RFC format and and this looks perfectly fine everything is parsed you know we got the username we got all the all the good things in here we got host name B which is also the second host the one thing to highlight here is that notice the one after the greater than that denotes the fact that this RFC is 5424 but Curator support them both and, and this thing was nicely parsed uh, username everything was was working well but there are some others that are problematic here for example I don't have a host name A right so but here it seems I seems to have one and and why are these two indicating that this is 172 16 60 to 124 that's the address of the Kali system where I send the logs why is this happening let's actually go into the admin tab to try to understand this go to the log source management app and we see the problem so we we apparently the system is is auto discovered this 172 16 60 124 which does not exist again this is the place where we replace it and we'll see that the system falls back to the address the IP address where the logs were sent when it doesn't recognize uh, the, the the source name that matches uh, the host name and this host name A was actually auto discovered because you know uh, the, the the thing that we need to learn here is that the source name that is matched to the host name the, the log source type is case sensitive so what we're going to be doing is uh, first let's delete this because that is not what we want so we delete that host name and in order to prevent this from happening what we're going to be doing is we're going to be disabling the auto discovery for the carbon black protection log at least for now how do we do that well we go to the DSM editor and we're going to load the carbon black protection one ah, actually here carbon black protection that's the one and here where we go into configuration we can click this here so we make sure that we save the whole thing now if we go back to the log activity we reset these we play them and we go to the remote system and replay the logs now on the stand auto discovery is no longer there we don't have a log source for host name A and that's what we should be getting an agnone and actually we will learn that agnone is actually closer to the real thing compared with uh, store and sim generic so sim generic is the kind of the worst case a store is a middle case and unknown uh, in the low level category is uh, closer to it because again there's no host name so we need to fix that log and make sure that that log is uh, respect the nomenclature of host name A. If we want this to go to host name A, that needs to have the right capitalization. So let us understand these two others that are problematic. Let me pause here. Uh, this one that got uh, sent to the 
that defaulted to the address where the Kali machine is. Let's actually take a look at and see what's wrong with this. This is an almost perfectly one, but if we compare this to the DSM sample logs, we see that there is this year in the middle. That's not right. Uh, the the RFC 3164 says that the timestamp should be go here. Apparently there's a provision for putting the the year after but not the year. So this thing is what throws up the the protocol. So he said well uh, that is that is not the the, the uh, that is not what I'm expecting the host name to be. I got that year there. The ways of fixing this if you have a DSM that uh, if you have a, a, an element sending logs that are not in the right format or this is a custom app and you cannot modify it, there's a way with the syslog redirect to actually modify that. More on that in a separate video. But now we understand what's wrong with this particular uh, event. Let's take a look at this one. Well, this one is actually pretty evident because we see, compared with the other ones, it doesn't have the headers. So it doesn't have that, that, that 13 in the beginning. So it's beginning to throw these up. And again, the, the I've known, uh, the, the parser say, well, I'm going to default this to be the 172.16.61.24 and that's why it created an actual, let's actually go to the log source management that is what it actually created this which actually we can delete because that is not right we don't want that to actually uh, happen If we replay those logs again, we see that the only one that come through cl nice and clean are the hostname A and hostname B, but all these ones are sim generic. And what this is, is okay, now that I don't have auto discovery on and I cannot assign new log sources automatically, I don't have the log, the, the source name that I found on the payload does not matches any one of the log sources that we have. Therefore, they are not offered to any parser at all and that's what they are called sim generic and the system fails quickly into into that uh, log source name category and remember that id the 10008 okay because that is the what denotes that specific uh, category of events so now that we have understood sim generic let's actually keep on learning what are the stored and unknown. Again, there are different types of unknown. What I'm referring to is a different kind of unknown. But this is, a, this is categorized as in generic. It wasn't offered to any parser because there, there was no match with the host name that we could associate this with.